Hello to all traders and welcome back to another market review brought to you by Orbex. So a big shake up in the market yesterday, CPI data coming in quite progressively for the American economy, falling back down to the lower regions of 4% year on year. And this has been a steady decline since the 9.1% that we saw at the back of last summer. So is this a big indication that we will be looking more squarely at no recession? Uh, however, a possible pause in today's uh, Fed decision on its next rate hike, but there is the confidence in a lot of economists that there will be another rate hike by the end of this year. So will that give another move to the upside or downside for the dollar? Gold has been it trapped in this $10 region now for a while, but we've seen uh, the Dow, the S&P, the Nasdaq just closing shy of 1% in yesterday's trading. So we're on a quite a big winning streak for the Dow and the S&P especially. Uh, the S&P actually hitting another good high, uh, giving us another move to the upside as well. So what are we looking at for today's intro? rate decision are we going to see a pause or another slight hike that odds are that we will be seeing more of a uh, pause in this price hike action but you know the fed is probably going to say more of what it's in store for for the next uh, six months at least for the second half you know, to see if we're going to have any more of a move to the upside but let's see now for the today's charts i'm looking on the dow jones first of all as you can see here on the daily chart nice and progressive to the upside it hasn't really been uh, really large bullish candles. However, the progressive nature of the market movement is showing us that there will possibly be uh, another bit of a bull run at the moment. So if we look at the previous bottom, uh, double bottom that we got here, roughly around the mid 32,000, we're now trading above 34,000 for the first time in a while. And if this can keep on pushing, then you know, uh, these recent tops are not really out of the question. If we look on the four hour chart as well, we're just seeing possibly on the RSI that it is a little bit overbought. So we are expecting a little bit of uh, a move to the downside, uh, but this could actually just be a slight correction before we have another test uh, higher. But the 40, 34 and a half thousand area will probably be something coming into play in the near term. But we are expecting, as I said, a bit more of a slight uh, downturn now in price action. This is just intraday, obviously. Daily chart looking a bit more progressive and it's giving us more of a signal and opportunity to keep on uh, putting some buys in, but not for too long. We'll see how long they last for as well. So just looking at the S&P, I've had a lot of traders asking me about the S&P uh, because since we had a break at the previous uh, top, and this was back in uh, August last year, this was infl when inflation was at a uh, 40 year high, 9.1%. We are now looking, as you can see here, uh, a break, a nice break here and uh, a gap in the market from the morning session, which means that we are seeing uh, most likely another move to the upside. So if we're looking at the overall global picture of S&P, you know, we've got these recent highs that we saw during the height of the pandemic at the early, uh, of la early end of last year, late end of 2021. Uh, so we are now seeing uh, movements up to this po particular point, and this will probably go over the four and a half thousand area. So this is the next target in the long term globally for a lot of economists and traders that I've been talking to. As you can see here, we are slightly overbought. But if we look on the four hour chart, we're just now eyeing up an opportunity to possibly start moving higher. As you can see here, it's broken the previous uh, highs and now we're on this kind of uh, big wave momentum. So just keep an eye on any kind of retracement. If we do see any in the market, we'll let you know. But the indices are really flying at the moment. Good opportunities as well in the market. So let me know what you think, what you're trading on. As usual, this video will be posted on our YouTube and Telegram channel to let us know what you think, what you're trading on. And just to see, is this overbought? Or are we looking for another move to the upside uh, in the near term as well? So be all eyes on the Fed interest rate decision tonight. Uh, keep a close eye on the market. It could have some big reactions depending on what uh, the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, is going to give us after the interest rate decision. If the interest rate decision is a bit flat, if it doesn't move, uh, markets have pretty much priced that in. It's just the um, interviews afterwards and obviously their speeches to see if they're going to have any more of a a move uh, to raise rates even further for the rest of the year. So let us know what you think and we'll speak again tomorrow. Bye for now.